gang gang. As promised, now we're going to discuss Colonel. But before we get into the soundscaping and listening part, let's do navigation. Press wavetable and waveform to get to it. Let's discuss the basic layout. This is the grand view of the patch. Now, when you go to each kernel, you have a selection on these three knobs here. Kernel mod source one, two, and three. This will apply to all of them. So kernel two, three, four, five, and six, all the way across the board. They all have three mod sources. They have mod types. Five flavors, phase FM, true FM, ring AM, and wavetable position. All right, we'll stay in phase. And we also have the feedback amount that goes to a percent. Now on each wave, you get into switching up the, the shapes. And you can see the harmonic scale right there. Now to get to wavetables, you go to that wavetable tab and then you can further select that and then on this knob here, you change the wavetable position. You must make sure each wave is set to on right there and out. Each wavetable or each uh, kernel, I should say, has a level and a ratio and a detune. Okay. You can also spread it across the keys here. You can do the mod sourcing, which changes the matrix. I don't know if you see that. We'll add in a third one. And that is how it changes it around. So you just go where you want to go. So I hope this helps you navigate it. Now, Let's pro okay, and then yeah, you can change the envelope too. So I'm gonna kill this, turn it right back on. We'll get into soundscape. Yo, I forgot to mention this. There's a macro section, and in this macro section, you can change the slots, and it's like a miniature mod matrix. There's only six slots, and the macro destinations are kernel one level, out pan, pitch frequency offset feedback wavetable position and wavetable attack the case sustain out you know what I mean basic you know what I mean for all the controls so for envelope level key spread blah 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 right so let's get into some sound design real quick and let's see what I can pull off because it's very um ambiguous right very weird. shut this tape down you guys basically get the gist of what's going on 
Whoa. Wait, how did I get that? Okay, there we go. Sometimes there's too many menus, right? I mean, I, I think you guys get the gist of how it works. Um, it probably needs a lot more exploring than that. Uh, I would want to say. I mean, it's pretty cool, but like I said, it's a pity that we can't put user wavetables in this. It's a pity that when we phase it, we can't actually see the thing phase in position with that knob on the side here in the middle of the big, the big uh, round knob on the side here next to the pads and the screen that is how you get that rotary encoder to move that value as well as other values down here same thing you use the big rotary detented encoder and that will wrap up kernel i wouldn't want to get into any more inharmonic content that's very loud and clangorous and whoa right I'll catch you on the next one, and we will pretty much wrap this up, do a little cook up, and see how it sounds musically useful, and, uh, and we'll just wrap it up. Can't risk it. White screen got scary. Price point, it could do more. No disrespect. Beautiful uh, design. Like the concept. It's just not for me. I'll catch you on the flip.